Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Health News and we are here at CII Digital Health Summit 2024 and we are joined by Joint Secretary, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Mr. Madhukar Bhagat. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for talking to us. Uh, I heard your session, it was very interesting and one of the point that you mentioned very initially is the problem of interoperability. Yes. Uh, how crucial is the problem of uh, interoperability for government to solve? Uh, see, interoperability remains one of the fundamental issues as far as the issue of uh, uh, meaningful deployment and use of data is concerned. Data has to have certain standards. The quality of data needs to be defined. And then there has to be accessibility to data, consent to data, and then only the data can be deployed. And a lot of these facets come within the domain of what I would say is interoperability. Government has taken several initiatives and one of those initiatives is in the ABDM framework where uh, ABHA is being used as a primary identifier for health, health account. And uh, going forward, we look forward to as to how ABHA can further be deployed for the purposes of identification of records, for the purposes of uh, taking these records from one service provider to another service provider. And uh, this will be one of the areas where interoperability will be immensely helpful to us. Absolutely. Uh, artificial intelligence is the buzzword of 2024 and today the entire discussion was uh, uh, focused around artificial intelligence. We heard several point of views uh, within the ABDM framework, within the uh, uh, initiatives of the government. How do you see artificial intelligence playing a role? Uh, if, if you remember that in the very first session, uh, respected Secretary Health spoke about uh, uh, the artificial intelligence network being used for fraud analytics also. Now, uh, a lot of data is flowing. The government has come up with uh, the insurance framework and a lot of information in that sector is also coming. In the CGHS also, a lot of claims are coming. And in these sectors, uh, for the purposes of detection of frauds also, artificial intelligence is playing an important role. Absolutely. Thank you so much. One last question, sir. Uh, what do you see are the major trends in terms of digital health care uh, going forward in the next five years? See, one of the very important trends as far as digital health care is about telemedicine. Uh, Government of India had launched the e-Sanjeevani and uh, this was a necessity which came up during the time of COVID, although its fundamentals were there in place to some extent earlier also. But because the circumstances necessitated at that time and the regulations and the bricks and mortars and the nuts and bolts were created. But going forward, as I was speaking about the challenges of the healthcare, of availability of healthcare, affordability of healthcare, accessibility to healthcare and quality of healthcare, telemedicine or e-Sanjeevani is going to be extremely important. Similarly, we have other domains of uh, digital health which are going to be important, where a, light, a lot of medical technology, medtech devices, these will be helping especially in the rural areas, in the public health sectors. In the morning session also the secretary took, talked about that AI will also be very important when we talk about PHCs, when we talk about the ground level applications, we already have the clinical decision support system which is integrated with eSanjeevani and therefore a lot of these technologies, digital technologies in particular are going to be of extreme help in reaching the health services to people, especially in the rural areas at the ground level. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you much, so. sir. Thank you so much for your time.